Hello brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Before I begin, I just want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on the cross for our salvation, for yours and mine. I wanted to share some thoughts and words concerning those who are really tired or discouraged from the injustice and the wickedness we see. This is for you, but for all of us. Justice is coming. Look up and be watching and waiting for the harpazo, the rapture. Jesus is returning, and he will at the same moment start a series of judgments to bring about justice. There are many of us who are tired of lawlessness and injustice. We are like in the days of Lot. He also is discouraged by the sin around him. Second Peter 2, 4 through 8 says, For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment. And he didn't spare the ancient world, but he saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in a flood on the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction making them an example to those who afterwards would live ungodly. And he delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment, and especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise authority. Wow, God is watching, and he knows what's going on. In the scripture, we see that he saw, he came, and he delivered Lot. I want to share a word with you that I felt the Lord gave me about this. Please feel free to just, just test everything. Here is what I felt he said. My people, my precious ones, who have waited so long for my justice, you will indeed see my justice. You, the lonely and afflicted ones, you will have my comfort. There is justice coming and a renewal of all things. My return is near and my justice will commence. The moment you are caught up, the world will see that I have come as a lion. I will roar in the heavens and ungodly systems will begin to fall. My judgment is on the systems and the demonic entities which have set them up. My heart's cry is for people to repent everywhere and come to the one who loves them, even while the systems fall. My heart is always for the people and always will be for the people, even while they are sinning. Let many, yet many will not turn. Those who are waiting for justice, it is coming like a fire to destroy the enemy. You will rise, my people, my precious ones. Don't fear. And that is what he said. Then he gave me this verse, which is in Psalms 37, 39 through 40. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength in time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. We know we, as believers, have already passed from death into life. And those who are ungodly are already under judgment. They are already standing in that place. John 5.24 and John 3.18. Evil systems and demonic hosts working on the earth will be severely judged. God will continue to reach out to those standing in judgment who have rejected his son as an act of his mercy. Not all will be saved, only those who receive his salvation. In conclusion, I want to share this awesome word that shows the power and finality of victory in Revelation 19, 11 through 16. And now I saw 
the heavens open, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no one except himself knew except himself, and he was clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His eyes are a flame of fire. No injustice, lie, or evil will escape his justice. He is coming. Look up. This is Linda from Simple Help Now. Have a great day and rejoice in this hope.